y'all. This is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Yes, you're looking at a rolling cart. Do y'all have one of these rolling carts in your craft room? And is it just filled with stuff? And then it gets more and more stuff on top of it. And then you don't know what's in it. And it just becomes a clutter spot. And you don't even utilize the cart itself. Well, let me show you what I've done because that's how mine was. As y'all know, I recently de um, decluttered my craft room and um, got it pretty organized. And I've still got a few drawers to go through that I didn't touch. I just moved them. But for the most part, everything's looking pretty good. And I know what I have. So I'm going to show you how I have organized my craft cart. So if you're interested in knowing what's going to be on my craft cart, I hope you stick around. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I started going through um, some of these little, little containers that I had in my closet. Started pulling out and literally I had had stuff in there for such a long time. And I didn't even use them. You know why? Because I had the... I had these stuck up in my closet where I never pulled them out and you forget what you have. We spend money on our embellishments. We spend time making our embellishments. We should try to take care of them and use them. So that is what my goal is. And um, so yeah, I've got to get one more container and I'll show you that in a second. But I, when I went to Michael's and I found these other containers, they only had three and I need four. And I need the fourth one because I want to put my mom's lace in it because my mom's lace is very, very, very important to me. I treasure that lace because it was hers and she loved it so much. And what I want to do, and a lot of times I have, like, this one was hers. And she had it on here, but... A lot of times I don't have a good place to stick it and it ends up getting tossed over. Look, she found it for 19 cents a yard. Um, but anyway, I would like to get some larger wood spools and wrap the spools. Um, and either I'm going to get a closed container or I'm going to use one of these other containers. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to keep my mom's lace to the side. Okay. So I have a bunch of these and I did purchase these a long time ago at Michael's. They came like 12 in a pack or something like that. And they were um, like in this handle case is what they were. They were like in a case that you could, uh, you know, carry them in. And these actually are supposed to be like for photos and stuff like that. Well, these work great for little embellishments and I have literally took, I had two containers of these, so I had 24 of these, and literally I ha only have these left, and I have went through all the embellishments that I had stashed around, and I've determined what I want and what uh, I'm going to use. And so that's my goal, is I don't want to um, keep things that I'm not going to use. So these right here, these all came from Michael's and, um, this is what I have left. There goes that cricket again. It just wants me to use it. I think I'm going to push those over to the side and I'm going to show you what I have been putting in my little photo. I'm going to call them photo boxes cause that's really what they were. So do you ever like buy cut aparts and you know, you have all these little things like this and you know, you have a whole bunch left over and so you end up leaving them in the package. They get all bent up and then you can't use them because they're ruined now. Well, yeah, that, that's me. That's me. That's how I, that's how I get some. And so I decided that it would be great to put my, my little, my little, um, pieces here these little ephemera pieces um all in here now this one um and what i'm going to do with these and actually i don't want to keep that one and what i'm going to do with these is like they're going to go by like everything is going to be like 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 the same like as you see these are going to be halloween so i've got these with halloween and i also have these with halloween and i believe that someone gave me these in a swap before and i've kept them and um, I think they're super cute, but you know what? I haven't used them in a while and you wanna know why? Because I had them stuck up in my closet and I can't, I, I didn't remember I even had them. So that is why when I pulled out, pulled out my containers last night and I stayed up late doing this and um, I'm like, you know what? I forgot I had those. They're so cute, look at them. So I've got those with Halloween. 
And then in this one, I have, these are all tags. And so if you see, I've got different kinds of tags in here. You know, Santa tags, snowflake tags, little um, little Merry Christmas tags. And these are a lot of, a lot of these, like in this, this is like Christmas tags. And then I have these like gold tags and these little for you little wooden tags. So all the tags are gonna go together. And then I have these and I've done like little things with these and so I still had some. So I decided, you know what? I need to utilize these. These, I think they got them from like, I don't know if I got them from Hobby Lobby or if I got them from Michael's once upon a time. I think it was Michael or Hobby Lobby. Um, it kind of looks like something that would have came from Hobby Lobby. But look how many I have. And then if they're not in a con protected container, they get all bent up. Then you, what's the use in having them? You can't even use them because they are, because they are um, all bent up. Then I have these right here. And these are just like, like little cut apart sayings. And um, these are some things, excuse me, these are some things that you can, know. you could put these on like your, um, you know, your, your memory decks cards, or you can put it on greeting cards. And this is some good things. We need good ones like this. And that's why I've stuck with keeping these because I just don't want to get rid of these that have good sayings on them because I'm always needing something like that. So I decided I was going to have a container with these. And that way then I can look on my craft card and voila, I've got some greetings there. And then I had purchased these before and I believe I purchased these large ones, these large uh, frames. These came from Joann's. And then I also have some smaller ones. I've gotten once upon a time at Tuesday morning, when Tuesday morning was good, um, when they had a great craft section, but now they don't. So I don't really go there anymore. I haven't been there in months and months and months. But I found these in my stash, and these were snow and cocoa, I believe. And um, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to add those in. So, I've got all the frames that I have ever purchased, which this is all I've ever purchased. And I've got them all in here together, and that way then I don't have to worry about losing them. And then this one right here, I've got more tags in this one. And this one just has some random tags, some little pennant banner flags, and just little like this one. I've had this one in my stash for a while, this little coffee cup tags. And I got this a long time ago at, at uh, Michael's. And it was Christmas several years back, but I just put tags in here. So I'll probably want to um, keep those together with the tags so I can kind of keep things together. And then in this one, I had all these gold, silver, and white stars. And, you know, they're just in little packs. I open it up. I use one or two. I kind of staple up the top so they don't all fall out. But then I forget I have them. So now, if I need stars, here they are. So, I'm going to get that. Now, this right here, these are the flowers that sweet, sweet Carla sent me the other day. And I didn't want to lose not one. So, I put them in here. These are a treasure. I am going to cut some more of these, but I love, love, love making like Disney things. And these are some things that I had made that I had cut out with my Cricut before. And you know, when I cut them, sometimes I'll cut multiples. And so it's always great just to have, have it already cut out ready for you. So I've got the Disney one. And then I found that I had these, these are snowflakes, different kinds of snowflakes. And so I just added all snowflakes in here. So I'm going to put, I think I'll put the snowflakes uh, with the stars, you know. And then this one right here, I have like two things with Christmas. And this one right here, I have these that I had purchased I hadn't used yet. And you know, you spend money on these things, so I want to protect them. And then I've got tons of Christmas cut-aparts in here. And so I thought I would just add these in with my little cut-aparts because they're just little little um sticker pieces is what they are and you can use them on you know on cards or whatever so i'm adding those in and then i have this one that is christmas as well now y'all i have already went through a lot of stuff you know i've got all kinds of ephemera pieces little chipboard pieces 
And these right here, I still have some full sheets of some things, but I'm not gonna part those out. But these were like random, what I had left on things. And so I didn't wanna throw them away because you know, I Christmas is my favorite. And so I really will utilize these. And now all I gotta do is grab and go. So I'm gonna keep those to the side. Okay, so let me see which one I got over here. The tags, let's put the Christmas over here together. And I'm going to just move these over. So now I have this one. These are Tim Holtz flowers and butterflies and stuff like that that I had purchased. Well, you know what? I purchased them and never used them. And you want to know why? It's because I stuck them in somewhere and then I forgot I had them. So now I'll be able to look through my embellishment cart and I can use these. So I'm going to add these in with my flowers. Okay, so... Have you ever purchased a bunch of these little tiles? Sorry about the glare, y'all. Yeah, I have some wooden tiles. I have some of like the chipboard cut type of, of, of tiles. And so I just put all my tiles together. So let me see if I can pull out some of these others. I have gold and I have rose gold. And I got these, I believe at, oh, I think I got them at Joann's. So I put all my tiles in here. And um, I might end up taking the wood ones out and just separating them out because um, it did make it pretty full. But I was trying to, uh, you know, keep space and trying to keep things together. So, as you see, it's pretty bulky in there. But at least I've got all my tiles together. So, I think those tiles, I can put those next to the picture frames. Now, look at this. I added doilies. Do you ever buy doilies and you're like... I can't find my doilies after I purchased them. Let me tell you, I purchased these on Amazon, on, on Amazon before I did my last craft fair, and then I forgot where I put them. So I ran, I ran across them and all that, and I'm like, you know, look at this. There, I finally found them. And um, then I have all these heart doilies, these smaller ones, and so I'm going to put my doilies in here because I just think that I just want to keep them nice and, nice and pretty, y'all. And um, doilies are so beautiful and great to add to cards and projects and stuff like that. And so I want to keep those safe. Now, I do have some larger doilies. Here they are. I've got them all together. Got some circles. I got some hearts. And I'm going to keep these in a clear bag because I don't have a clear container that's big enough for all the doilies. So I'm going to keep these on my craft cart, but I put them in a clear bag. Okay. So there is that. Now y'all, you're gonna probably laugh at this, but who buys these spoons for your sequin mixes and different things like that? And then you buy packages of them at the Dollar Tree or wherever. And then you forget you have them. So you pick up another bag because you need them for a project and you've forgotten you have them. Well, guess what? I put all my spoons together. I have some gold ones and some silver ones. The silver ones, I believe I got them at, at a Hobby Lobby a long time ago. And I think I got the gold ones at the Dollar Tree. So there we go. I got my spoons all in one place. I think the spoons could go with the tiles. So, okay. So, and then I have these. This is like to make shakers. And you know, I forgot I had them. And so when I was sorting through, I'm like, you know what? I need to bring those out. I want to use those. And so I have added a container for these as well. So add these in. And then y'all, I go ahead sometime when I'm making, when I'm in the memory decks phase and I'm making lots of memory decks, I go through and I die cut them. And so I'll probably die cut some more. And um, I'm just going to keep all the bases because I always do two layers of the craft card stock for my memory dexes to make them real sturdy. And so I'm going to keep them in here. That way I have them and I don't have to worry about having to cut it again. Okay, so I found these little ephemera pieces in here. And I did keep these in the container so I know which collection they were from. Uh, but I've got a princess one. I've got this other one. It's a recollections and it's just got um, Just little pieces here and there. So I decided I would add those in as well So I probably could add those in with my little pieces um, My little um, like like a, um, Kind of parts and stuff. Okay, so I did find here in my stack here. I have one more container of like Halloween ephemera pieces. And so I'm going to add those with my Halloween 
And then I have these. Y'all, y'all know pink is my favorite. And so I have some pink paper clips, red and lighter pink in here in different sizes. And so now I'll know if I need one of these to make something with, all I gotta do is grab my little container. So pretty excited about that one. Now this right here, let me move that over. This right here, um, not this past craft fair. Ooh, I got that one's hard to open. Um, I made, uh, but the craft fair before, the year before in 2020, I made the little Santa bags and these were some of the Santa faces that I had made. And I had worked so hard on these and these were the ones I had left over that I didn't use. So I kept them all and I, they're still good. I can use them if I need a Santa. So that's why I kept them. And then I also have some of these that I had die cut. And so, you know, these things you've spent your time die cutting them, save them. And then I also have some gingers in here. And so I'm just going to keep all these together because those are kind of Christmassy to me. And there we go. They're now they're nice and safe. So I'm going to keep those with the Christmas stuff. And then the last container I have here that's like this one is I have these like corrugated, like cardboard like um, hearts. And I had these in my stash. I think I got them last year at Hobby Lobby, but I do did see them this year at Hobby Lobby as well. So, but yeah, you wanna be able to use them. I had stuck them in a drawer. Didn't remember I put them there, you know, now I have them. So I'm gonna put my doilies and my little hearts all together. Okay, so that's what I put in those containers. And y'all, that's a lot of stuff just for these, you know, just for these uh, little containers. So you're able to put quite a bit in these and it's going to, those right there are all gonna just be on one shelf. Okay, so I found these cute containers at Hobby Lobby, uh, not Hobby Lobby, Michael's, but, and I need one more and that's what I, I'm waiting for. They only had three when I went in there and I found these. But I recently made these cute little um, shakers. And so I wanted to protect them. I spent a lot of time making them. It was so much fun making them. So I added them in here and it works out perfectly. Then in a closet, I found I had made all these bows. And look at this, aren't they just gorgeous? Look at that sparkle. And who wouldn't want to use those? Well, if you don't remember you got them and that you made them because you didn't know where you put them. Yeah, so now I'll know where they're gonna be and I can use these. About a week or two ago, I decided to make some rolled flowers and kind of build up my stash of them. So I decided I would put my rolled flowers in here as well. And so now I have a little stash of these. What I need to do with some of these is what Miss Miss uh, Sheila did. And she added art glitter glue and she put a uh, diamond dust on them and just made them glow. Um, if you haven't seen her video, she did put a video out. It came out, I think this morning. I watched it. She's simply amazing. She shows how she makes her flowers from, from uh, they're beautiful, but even fabulous when she's done. So there is my flowers. So and like I told you, I have these right here. I'm going to stick these in the side of my card. It's got my doilies, but these were too big for any of my containers. And then I also have these right here. And this is like one of the scrapbook.com little clear envelopes. And what I have in here is like some more of these. And look, I could put these over in this other one. So let me do that. Put those in there. That way I have them together. And then I just have like some random, I have snowflakes in here. And then I have these that I had punched out and um, just shapes, um, some bigger stars. And y'all look how many of these circles I found that I had cut. Man, do you know what? You know, we can use these. You, you know, I just need to remember where I put things. Now I'll know to look on my, tar my craft cart for them. So I didn't have like a plastic container big enough for these. So I just decided I would use um, use this. And this this is working out just well. I just love these little envelopes. Purchased them on scrapbook.com. And let me get that little, see if I can get this in there. And there you go. So that's it. So now let me show you how I'm gonna put all this on my craft cart. 
Okay, so I am sitting on the floor next to my craft cart because I want to show you how I'm going to load every bit of what I showed you, plus three other little buckets on this one craft cart. So what I didn't already show you is, is I have these plastic containers. This is the brand. Got it at Michael's. Right now they're 40% off, so I did not pay very much, like I think $4 a piece. I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, they're in their organization section. But I put all like stickers that hasn't been opened that I want to use. And so I'm going to add these to the bottom of my craft cart. As you see, there's plenty of space right here for two. So I went and took, and of course y'all know I love these little glitter hearts. I put them in here, but these are all pretty much like the jammies, the enamel dots. And that's what I'm going to put here because this is going to be an embellishment. Um, this is going to be a rolling cart for my embellishments, an easy way for me to find them. So those are some things I want to put on the bottom. Okay, so on the second row, I'm going to put all these photo boxes that I just showed you. And if you just organize them just right, you'll be able to put 24 on here. So these are all Christmas. So I'm going to try to put all the Christmas ones together. And let's see, I'm going to... I try to put them all the same way so they fit good. So I've got my Christmas ones there. And then let me see. I think I will add in also these two containers of the hearts. So there's eight already right there. And then I've got these three right here that are all Halloween. So I'm going to add the Halloween ones. So I'm going to go in the next row and add the Halloween ones. And then I'm just going to start adding all the other embellishments. I've got my Mickey one. And then I've got flowers. I'm going to put them here. Just want to make sure everything is going to be level and looking good. You know, you spend your time, you got to just take care of it. Okay, I've got my memory decks right there and then i think i will add in the, the stars so now i've got one more space over here for the rest of my little container so you watch this because this is going to be this is going to fill up this whole area so i've got those these are the remainder ones i have here's the little tiles Got the spoons, the shaker domes, and I've got these right here. And look, all of these fit in my cart. Look at that and how nice and organized it is. Now let's move to the top. Okay, so now I'm on the top row. So what I didn't also show you is I have another one of these really cool clear um, containers that I got at Michael's and all the seam binding that I have. Isn't that just gorgeous? Just gorgeous. It's just beautiful to me. I'm going to put it right on top. And then these containers that I just showed you that I had put these in, these are going to fit... If you put them standing upright, they will fit just right on here. Now, they only had three of these. As you see, I have room right here for one more. And I'm going to watch for them to get some more. Um, I had thought about using one and putting my mom's lace in it, but I just don't think it's going to be enough space. So, but I'm still going to do something with my mom's lace because I don't want to leave that out. So, I'm going to leave this open for when they have more. But as you see, look how much stuff I have on my rolling cart. And um, these right here, these and these right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them around. I'm going to turn my cart around. And I'm just going to put these like in the back. They will actually fit in the back just perfectly and that way I have them and actually the letter the little plastic envelope I'm gonna stand it up so now I'm able to let me get you over here now I'm able just to put those in the back and they're right there where I can get to them but look how much I have just on my one craft cart now also another thing that you can do is see this ribbon right here these are um, ribbons that I got at 
Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby. No, actually I did get some at Hobby Lobby, but I think I got some of these at Michael's too. But I, these were all like the browns and stuff like that. And I had some of these left over. So what I did, I always keep them in these like little packages that they come in. And um, so what I did is I took the staples off. I added in some more of my trim so I could utilize this even more. And then I just took one of these little clips and I just put it on the side of my little cart. And now I have trims hanging on my cart, y'all. There cannot be any more better organization for some of these embellishments that we have than this. I just don't see, I mean, I mean, everybody has their own system and this is what's gonna work for me. But if you are looking for a good way to, to store your stuff and you have one of these cards in your craft room, just go for it. Now, if you wanna step it up a notch, you could label each one of your containers. Now, I'm not gonna do that because I would probably find myself moving things around a lot and I'll be having to make more and more and more and more labels. You know, you could label the top of your things so you know what they are, but pretty much I know where everything is. So I don't feel I need to do that. But if you wanna, if you wanna label your containers, go for it. Um, I think I might put something on the front of my cart as well. I might do some vinyl and put something here and um, put a little saying here. And I'll come back and show you guys what that will look like. So uh, hopefully you stay at the end and I'll show you what that would look like. Um, but anyway, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this organization embellishment cart video. Um, I also know that they make like some little pouch thingies or things like this that can stand on the side. So I'm thinking I might want to get one of those that st will stick out here and I could put my twines and all that because I am all the time looking like, where did my twine go? And um, even though I know I try to keep things together, it's just gonna, it would just make it easier. And now all I gotta do is just roll it over, set it over there next to the corner and it's ready to move out whenever I need it. So anyway, so don't forget to make today great. Do something awesome for yourself and um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Love you guys. Don't you just love the letters on there? They look so cute. Have a great day, y'all.